There was an interesting study that I just stumbled on relating to the Amazon tribes and the Amazon rainforest. And this study was between 2014 and 2015 on 705 adults. And so they evaluated a lot of these different people uh, from one tribe called the Timane tribe. Now, this wasn't surprising. Uh, you have these tribes living on uh, food in the wild. Um, you have game, you have fish. Men spend between six to seven hours. Women spend four to six hours doing physical activity. And it's not surprising that they have a much lower risk of heart disease. In fact, 90% of this group, uh, regardless of age, had zero risk for heart disease compared to the US, in which demonstrates that if you live in America, um, only 14% has no risk. So if we do a comparison, that's 86% of adult Americans are at risk for heart disease versus only 10% are at risk from this uh, tribe. Now, of course, this is not brain surgery. It doesn't make sense because what Americans eat. And of course, the recommendations are healthy snacks, right? Grains, low salt, low fat, and low cholesterol. And they also said to limit your fruit juice, not eliminate, but just limit but if we look at some of the studies, uh, specifically this one, which I'll put a link down below, between 2013 and 2016, involving youth between the ages of 12 and 19, one in seven youth has hypertension. That blew me away. High blood pressure from someone that is between 12 and 19 years old, totally insane. So obviously in these tribes, uh, they probably are not consuming too much refined carbohydrate or sugar. And they're probably not consuming any fruit juice at all. If you look at what is recommended for heart disease, um, they don't differentiate what is the important things you need to focus on versus the less important or trivial things you need to focus on. They're all given an equal amount of importance. Some of the recommendations do recommend avoiding sugar, but that's actually low on the list. What's high on the list is the avoidance of fats and red meats and processed foods. And low on the list is refined carbohydrates, but they still recommend consuming whole grains. Well, good luck in trying to find the whole grains without the refined grains added to it. You're usually not going to find that. So when you're trying to deal with a health problem, especially heart disease, which is the number one cause of death, it's very important to know what is important to eat and what is important to avoid. And if you're new to my channel and you want that data, I put a link down below of exactly what you should eat and what you should avoid. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.